Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Timber and Stone, episode number 13. We have had quite the gap since the last episode. I had Reign of Kings take over the channel for a couple weekends, and last week I just needed a break. Uh, actually, the week before, rather, I took the break, and man, time is flying by. Anyway, we uh, <laughs> we took a break. I played some Minecraft, did some live streaming, and it was last weekend that I just did some very brief update videos. And some of you have been asking about this, particularly recently, and yes, I have been meaning to get back to this. And here we are. So I've been playing a little bit here, moving things along. I finished some of the wall along the top of the building here. Um, threw some fence out in the windows. A couple of you had suggested that that looked cool and worked well. I Interestingly, I did kind of one layer here and it won't let me do another one on top of it. But when I started by stacking two and having it build it at the, at, at the same time, that worked. So it seems like you can't go back in after the fact. I even tried to put stone kind of right above it and the block immediately above it. And that did not work. So anyway, I don't know. I'll probably just close it in at the top and we'll have a little bit of a gap. Maybe that won't be a big deal. Again, the only concern there really is spiders and concern we kind of put in quotes because... Well, spiders aren't really a concern. We can take them out pretty easily. Now, one of the things that happened uh, as far as building all of this, building up the wall back here a little bit more, um, building up the uh, the wall trim basically along the top, was that I actually ran out of stone. <laughs> so I've got everybody digging right now, mining this out to get more stone. You can see that's kind of piling up there in the right. I think I have four people mining right now. And then uh, we'll switch some over to building here shortly. Um, let's see, we've got Mattia here, kind of checking this out. Mattia is set to what? Mining. Mattia, I don't know why you're over there. Let's go ahead and pause this. Did we run out of mining? Yes. Looks like we are out of... Actually, you know what? Let's do that. There we go. Yeah, not much else to dig here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and set some more here um, to dig out. Let's do something like this. And dig some more of this out. Maybe we, hell yeah, we might as well dig the whole thing. So we're gonna get that going. Clear some more of this out, gather some more stone, and what I'll do is I'll switch a couple people off of that, off of mining, and um, oh, we have some underneath there too. I forgot that we've got uh, some of the wall in the back down there set, so I'm not sure what Matia is doing up here immediately. Um, when Matia is set to uh, <laughs> be mining, I'm not really sure. Let's Let's double check again here. Mattia mining so uh, we do have the picks so although we were at three maybe that's what happened I had four but maybe um, we lost one so Mattia is a little uh, little bored now one of the things I did want to correct Mattia let me know in the uh, in the comments that Mattia is actually a dude so my bad Mattia is from Italy so welcome to the crew sorry uh, you were given a female character I do apologize but you guys should know that Matteo was very cool about it, said he did not mind at all. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and switch you over to building. And let's see, let's take a peek here. We do have hammers, so I'm not sure why Matteo isn't jumping on that just yet. But who else do we want to kind of switch over here? Uh, looks like Francis. We'll get Francis over there. Okay, and I probably don't need Ross on carpenter duty now. Ross was kind of working on... Uh, replacing some of the tools and everything but yeah it looks like we don't really need him doing that anymore let's um i could switch him to building his building's not all that great i don't think i have any carpenter task for him so anyway i'm gonna find something better for him to do but that's just a quick update of where we are at now it does look like ross may be frozen in terror because he has spotted some whoa what do we got here four skeletons Oop. Once again, the ultra zoom is going on. So anyway, we're gonna have to uh, get everybody prepped and get ready to take care of this. Okay, we have things paused a bit, but I have gone through and switched everybody to infantry. I've kind of told everybody where they should be going. Essentially, I took all of the infantry that is pretty well skilled and I have them set to come line up just outside the door. There's about three or four of them with skill five, six, somewhere in there. I kind of put them, moved over to the door. We're actually gonna bring Ross back just to make sure move him back by the door. Then what, what I did with the rest was had them kind of move it to just inside the door, uh, just in case. Those are the ones and the twos. Now way, way, way out there we have Emma. She's a skill three and I've had her run up just kind of near the wall down here to kind of just get nearby but not too close. So let's go ahead. We're going to play this out a little bit slow initially just to kind of see how this plays out. So we've drawn only one skeleton, which is great. Um, hopefully this can just be the way it is. Let's move Ross Sprint. Come on back here. 
Everybody stay back here. Okay. I'm going to try and draw this one in a bit. I'm just going to keep kind of selecting these guys. It would be really great to be able to select them all as a group. Now, one of the things I didn't anticipate here was that if I brought people close enough to the door, <laughs> they were going to come walk out. But it's probably for the best. We're just going to go ahead and let this kind of happen and see where it goes. They should take this guy down really quickly. And the other ones are close enough. I guess Ross did spot this one here, so you'd think they'd be close enough. Okay. And we've got a uh, fifth one has shown up as well. There are not only four now having killed one, but <laughs> this one just popped out from behind a tree and was like, yes. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm just going to let this play just a little bit longer just to see if we get any movement. I'd love to get yes. I'd love to get this one in here drawn in. Okay, so we've got people spotting right now. That's fine. Okay, cool. It looks like we may have pulled one. That will be excellent. I'm going to kind of draw people back. They'll end up turning around and going after them, but that's okay. Bring it on in here. I think one more time we're going to bring everybody back to the corner. I'd like to fight the skeleton within these walls in this kind of controlled area. Yep, give him a chance to get in here. Something like that ought to work. And yeah, we're going to see. Emma is making her way up here. I'm going to have her go ahead and come inside the wall. And they're off. It's going to be a beatdown. <laughs> I don't even know. Did the other one hit us at all? Yeah, I, don't, I didn't see any damage. There we go. We get the next one creep in. I'm going to go ahead and let them do their thing. I'm going to beat it down. This is the way to go. We got the next one trying to come in. That's cool. Everybody's getting in on this. At this point, I could probably just move everyone out there within range. Um, it did pause again for spotting. Let's just go ahead and do that. We're gonna get everybody making their way out there. Next one will get chopped down and then by then they'll be close enough to go after the next guy. Let's do, we'll speed this up a bit. This shouldn't be a problem. Yep. Oops, somebody got hit there. I think, let's see, I think it was Ellen. And did I just see movement? Did I just, yes, we've got another one. Whew, we got a lot this time. Let's kind of pan this around here a bit. We got one here with a shield and a weapon, another one here. Let's see, five, what, that'd be seven? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. I need to change the camera setting here. Let's go. Full control. Okay, so down at the ground level here, we've got the two, and I'm just going to pan around here. Maybe that's it. Maybe that is all we have to deal with. Excellent. Spin this back around. Let me, <laughs> I'm all over the place. There we go. <laughs> Okay, cool. So I think we're going to be good. Let's just go ahead and play this out. Oh, not one at a time, though. Hold on a second. Everybody back up here. Nobody else wanted to jump in. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've got at least four in on this. Get over there. Bring these guys out here. You know, somebody might get hit right there initially. 43. Oh, so painful. Whew. Cool. Well, there we go. I think that was pretty good, you guys. We've got everybody still intact, quote unquote. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look how close Ellen was. I probably should have looked at that a little bit closer and just pulled uh, her out because we had enough people. That's what I sh that's what I should do next time is just kind of double check. But let's get everybody back to work and uh, who stuck around in here? Luke? <laughs> <laughs> Luke knew better. He's like, nope, we got plenty of people. So it looks like Mattia got stuck somehow. He's kind of standing up there and I thought, is he trying to access the building and can't reach it? Let me throw some scaffolding. He's kind of playing around a bit. And um, yeah, I removed the food crate and then he was finally able to move. So anyway, I don't know. I thought the food crates were all in already, but maybe I had some weird thing where it wasn't made yet and Matia went up there and then the food crate was <laughs> set in and he couldn't move but anyway we've got everybody kind of running around now you can see some people running out of things we've, we've run out of picks so the mining has kind of come to a halt but um, we do have 243 stones so let's go ahead and and take a look at those who are mining who could be building um, nobody's really super advanced with that um, let's go ahead and pause this Let's see. Matia. We have Judas. I want to make sure because we have a message that Judas was 
Has spotted. Yeah, we got another skeleton in here. Okay. One more has wandered in from somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that at some point. But we definitely need somebody working on the pickaxe as well. Um, so we need to get Ross going on that. And let's see. Let's take a peek at Judas. So we could throw him on infantry. We can actually get uh, Mattia up on infantry. Two of them taking... Uh, Taking a skeleton? I think they might be okay. <laughs> Probably getting into trouble trying to do this with a limited uh, number of people. Let's see. Is anybody else nearby can pull? Um, oh, Pamela. Yeah, let's get Pamela in on this for sure. Come on over here, Pamela. Um, let's see. We're going to move Mattia back. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Where's Pamela? Pause. Pamela's making her way slowly, <laughs> very slowly. I'm gonna move Francis inside. Actually, whoa, 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 pause this. Let's get back here, Judas. Come back here into the corner. You go inside if you can. Pause this again. Just trying to buy time to get Pamela out here. And we're not really doing it. Pamela's not gonna get there, but hopefully we'll be okay. Okay, whoa. We had some damage here. Now well, Judas is not too bad. There we go. Okay. Whew. Cool. I'm I'm wanting to be super cautious, you guys. I don't want to lose anybody. We've got a good number of people and it's takes a while to recover. So, anyway, <laughs> let's see. Let's go back to Judas here. Uh Judas. Let's bring up the list. Judas we're going to throw back. Let's see. We'll go Judas on some mining. Pamela Mining, and we're going to go Builder there. Should get everybody back to task here. Um, there we go. We got one pick made, so we're coming along with that, trying to get everybody back to uh, <laughs> back to work. Let's see. I think it's funny, like, this door, as soon as somebody steps in the door or is using the door, if anybody else was kind of pathing to go outside, they, like, can't walk there. They get kind of stuck. It's almost like I need two doors or something. <laughs> something here. I don't know if, um, let's see. I think I can deconstruct it. I couldn't remember if you could actually click a door and, like, just have it open. But I think it's more like just them walking through anyway. It's like they get in there. Sometimes they go face to face and they get stuck. But um, anyway, it's good to see we've got everybody sort of back on track. Let's see. What's going on here? What you doing, Ross? How come you're not uh, working on the uh, picks there? We, we're kind of short on those. We have, we have a number of them that are supposed to be, I think three or four at least, are supposed to always be around. So anyway, I'm probably just missing something minor, but that's okay. I'll look into that in a second. Otherwise, we do have, um, uh, not 600, 263 of the stone. If I actually bring this up, you can see um, that's how I decided to fill in the uh, roof is kind of leave an opening like that. It lets me kind of see in there. I can obviously lower the terrain down to see inside and everything. That's something I can do. Um, you can see I've also gone and put the... Um, the blocks along here, what do they call it, crenellations? I always forget, I think that's what that is. The battlements or whatever. Um, I figure that's how we'll just kind of cap the wall there and probably leave it at that. Really, I just want to get this wall wrapped with that. Probably do that around the front. Uh, I do want to have a walkway they can walk along up there and then uh, kind of get these roofs in. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of debating whether or not to close this roof in entirely. I might do something like this, but only do two instead of uh, four wide. But anyway, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, I think we're getting close to getting this fort kind of wrapped up. Okay, it just took me a second to realize that I needed to switch Ross over to Stone Mason in order to get those picks going. So he should be doing that right now. He should get cracking on that. Um, let's see, and then we have people just kind of, see this is what I'm talking about, people blocking the door. <laughs> Stop getting in the way, we've got work to do. So we're going to dig the rest of this out. Um, I've got 292. I think pretty soon here I'm going to switch people over to builders. Um, we'll get a lot of builders going. We only have two right now, and I think I'll take whoever's mining, switch them over to building. That'll get five people going on that. We'll pretty much mow through the stone pretty quick. Uh, let's see, we are in the afternoon, so I think we still have plenty of daylight. Actually, you know what? We could start switching some people over right now. Let's see, who would be next best? Probably Pamela. She's got a two. Really, after after Francis and Mattia, everybody else is just beginners here with the uh, building, but definitely good to have a lot of people 
uh, skill up in that. Now, a number of you have said, by the way, that's kind of reminding me um, that you can skill up to three. That's one of those things I have not really got into yet. So um, I think I might take a peek at that. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of where that is. Um, was it in here? No, I'm trying to remember. There was part of the menu where you could do that. It had a, had a um, element of that. So anyway, I'm gonna have to dig around and find that. But something that you can kind of auto train these guys um, on some of the skills, maybe all of them for all I know. So I will look into that. Let guys continue or let everybody continue to build here. You can see the ceiling or the roof kind of coming in on here now. Very cool. Okay, I dug around a bit and found the area where I go ahead and flag certain jobs, it seems, to train to three. So I've got a little bit of that going. I still haven't gone through everybody with everything that they can train to three on, but I will complete that a bit later. In the meantime, we got a message that the trader is coming, and uh, so we're getting ready for that. Who did I do? Luke, right. we got Luke in here. I think he has six for trading, so... Once he gets up here, we will uh, see what he's got going. Now at the time, I actually had zero stone. And uh, at the time I was kind of thinking about this, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a stone on the merchant um, as, a, as a buy to see what that costs because I'm kind of mowing through it. And if it's not too expensive, um, I might do that. So let's see, he is selling four, hmm, four clubs, we have nine coins. Um, I don't need those that bad. We've got seven amongst everyone, so that's not too bad. We have nine people, so not bad at all. Uh, willing to buy 17 pumpkin seeds for 34 coin. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Sure. <laughs> it's over double what we had. Let's see. He's willing to buy iron ore. Man, we're not getting to that, but I don't need the two coin. No thanks. You will have to do better. I'm really curious about stone. Sell me some stone, because I'm... It has to be cheap, right? Let's see. Now he's wanting to... He's wanting to buy turnip seed. I think that's probably fine. 52? Man. That leads me to believe I should be hanging on to this, though. <laughs> and we really don't need the money that bad. I'm going to actually hold on to those, even though I'm not really doing anything with those right now. If he's willing to give me that much, it's probably something I should hang on to. We'll keep the coal. Show me some stone. Let's see what that. Let's see what that's worth. I'd like to see, like, you know, for one coin, I'll, you know, give you a thousand or something. <laughs> He's willing to sell 123 food. Our food is actually doing pretty good. Now, I have not been good at our storage keeping. Um, I'm not really concerned about the wheat being capped out. It's not really a big deal. I'm not even doing anything with that right now, so I've just kind of left that. Um, and I've got hay bales kind of piling up at this point. I know you can upgrade them and everything. I've done that a few times, but anyway, we'll just leave that. Miscellaneous is probably a, um, something I should be throwing down another box or whatever crate. I think that's what this guy here is, um, right here by us trading. But um, anyway, I, I do need to manage that. Food, though, uh, not too bad. This food must combine some things. 282, I'm realizing. that we, It shows we have 87. So I think I... 19 coins, though. You know what? Let's go ahead and skip that. I was going to buy food, um, but we're actually doing okay anyway. And 19 money, I think that's like not a whole lot more than what we've got. And he's willing to sell one tunic for 10. We got 43. I guess we had more than 19 at this point. <laughs> I kind of want to buy one to equip somebody, but... Uh, I think we're actually going to go ahead and do that. Why not? Because we've got 43 and I, I would like to get some kind of armor on somebody. Let's see. What else you got? Show me the stone. I'm all out of short sword. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm all out of short sword. Okay, that's it. He's had enough. It's like, yeah, no. Who sells stone? I don't have stone. We're going to go ahead and Luke get back to forging because he is the all-pro master at that. Meanwhile, we're going to continue digging and continue hammering through the night. Okay, as I mentioned, the sun's going down. You can see the floor is kind of coming along pretty well here, or the roof, rather. That's pretty good. I did some scaffolding, kind of like steps to get up on top. I did some inside so they could reach the ceiling, and then I realized, you know, this looks kind of like, you know, workbenches or whatever, so that's kind of cool. It is blocking the door a little bit, so I'll probably take some of these out, but I think I will leave 
some of them in because they're pretty cool looking. Now, one thing to note about the fences, and I thought I would mention this because maybe by now you've already left a comment about it. <laughs> what I realized was that the fences seem to be similar to Minecraft and that I think they're about a, like a block and a half is what's happening because I did two here and thought I could go across the top, but you can see it's sticking up. Um, so it's not gonna let me build across the top of that. So I think that's what's going on. I think we have a Minecraft kind of thing. You can see it at that angle, essentially. Um, or if I go full control here, there we go. You can see that it's uh, it sticks out a bit over the top. So anyway, yeah, it looks like it's not quite half, but it's, it's accounting for the next block. So anyway, that's gonna be the uh, issue there. I'm gonna have to go one higher just to cover that up, and it's gonna have a little gap over the top, but that's okay. And as far as the internal windows in here, I think I'll just leave them open. There's no reason other than it's kind of weird that people walk through those areas because they do. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's not really a big deal. I think um, I think things are coming along pretty good.